Hello friends, today we will be discussing the console application uh, in which you can perform the CRUD operation that is insert, update, delete and search. So we will be going to be creating the console application uh, and we will perform the insert operation, insertion operation using the console and we will use the backend as an SQL server. So let's get started. For that, I've created a simple console application from the Visual Studio. The next step you need to do is just go to the Solution Explorer and go to the Add New Item and take Service Based Database. Uh, you can give the name of your database. Extension should be MDF. So I'm going to hit the Add button. going to take a moment or two to create your database. So as you can see we have our database. So the next thing that we are going to be doing is we will create the data table. So I am going to hit the solid server explorer table, right click and add new table. For this concept, I am going to be creating a simple table that is having the credentials of the user, that is username and password and we will try to insert some data into that table. You can create the data table definition from the transact SQL script or you can use it with the designer as well. So both the options are there. Uh, for the starting we will use the designer. So let's give the name of the field. First I am going to say a username. Then a password. Both have the same data type that is a backend. Then you can give the name of the data table. That is we are giving like a login. Uh, or you can say a PBL and hit the update button which will create the data table for you. So we have our database ready, the data table is also there and username and password. The next thing that we are going to be doing is we will do the insertion code. So for that we need to add a namespace called using system data dot SQL client. So what are the classes that we are going to be using that is a connection class, command class will be available in the namespace that is an SQL client. So the next step is we need to have a connection. So we will be using the SQL connection. So SQL connection object is equals to new SQL connection and in the constructor of the SQL connection we will going to pass the connection stream. So how you can get it? Simply right click on the database, go to the property, connection stream, just copy it, control C, then you have to use it in your constructor service basically. Because it is having some symbols, we need to pass the escape sequence. So pass at the read symbol and whenever we have the path, just do double quote and plus and whenever we have the slash, we will pass the double slash. So like we have the double slash, right, okay, and here again double quotes and plus, right, okay. So we have our connection, the next task is to open the connection, so cn dot open, we will open the connection for the transaction, we will use the SQL command, so we will take username and password from the user. So for that I am taking two variables, username and a password. I am going to give some message so the user can understand what the data needs to be entered. So console dot right line and let's pass some message that is enter username and password. We'll take the data from the user so username is equals to console dot read line the same thing for the password so password is equals to again console dot read line right so the next thing we have the username and password. Now the next thing is what we need to do is we need to pass the command.
command so we'll take sql command sorry sql command cmd is equals to new sql command and we'll pass our query that is in sql and our connection right so here you can pass the query so we are going to be performing an insertion operation so let's pass insert into the name of the table is a tpl login values we are having two fields so single quotes double quotes plus plus because we are taking a varchar field varchar data type for the fields right so single quotes double quotes plus plus again a password all right okay so we have our command ready now to execute it we'll pass cmd dot execute none query and at last we'll make the connection close uh, this cmd dot execute null query will give the number of rows affected so i'm going to store that number of rows affected into my i variable and uh, i'm going to check that if i greater than zero means if it is having some value into the database it's going to be showing i is value greater than zero right so if this so then we'll pass some message for that so console dot write line and let's say insertion successful right so we have our code for how we can perform the insertion operation in console application there are easy steps okay let's debug and check uh, it's working properly or not so we'll hit the play button to check Okay, so it is asking for two fields that is username and password. Let's give you a field name like uh, I'm giving like a username Chintan and the password I'm giving like a right and hit the enter button. So if you can see we got the message insertion successfully. Uh, you can verify from the data table as well. Simply right click on the data table and show table data, which will give you the already inserted record. So we have two records. This record I tried it for the testing purpose. And this is the final record that we have seen right so this is how you can perform the insertion operation it's quite simple add the database add the database table and then you have to take a connection then make a connection with one fields you want to use we get the data from the user so some messages then getting the username and password for the user using console or grid line your command object which will have our query and the connection and to verify the Acknowledgement that data is being entered properly and the insertion is being done or not. So for that we are checking like if i greater than zero, then insertion is successful. And at last, because we are using the connection connected architecture, we'll at last make the connection close. I hope you learn from this uh, how you can perform the insertion operation using the console application. In the next session, we'll be discussing how you can perform update and delete. Uh, if you have any query, you can contact me on ce.chintan at gmail.com. Happy learning. Thank you.